Welcome Bakersfield Family Music and Art students to your online art class with me, Mrs. D. Here is a list of supplies that you will need for today's art project. I'll give you three minutes to get them together. Today, you will need a drawing pencil, paper, colored pencils or crayons, or markers, anything that has color that you can use to fill in your project. Pause the video here until you have all of your supplies ready. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today we will learn more about pop art. What is pop art? Pop art is art based on popular culture or things that we can all recognize, like flowers, Marilyn Monroe, pieces of cake, and bubble gum. These are just a few examples of what you might find when you look at pop art. In today's lesson, we will be learning about Yayoi Kusuma. She is a famous Japanese painter. Yayoi is obsessed with dots. She once said, the earth is only one polka dot among the million stars in the cosmos. Making dots became an obsession and she soon covered everything with them. Using her polka dots, she covered many things like paintings and sculptures. Here you can see inflatable sculptures in a red room covered with white polka dots. Can you see the different shapes? In this room, she created an optical illusion, meaning fooling the eye. In this room, she created her soft polka dot sculptures and placed them surrounded by mirrors on each side. Now it seems as if they are infinite. Are you ready to make some art like Yayoi? Well, let's begin. Okay, everybody. Today we're going to start our project having our paper in landscape style, which means that our paper is longer going across than it is going up and down. Using our pencil, we are going to start our project by drawing a series of curved lines. So taking your pencil, and at the top of your paper, remember we always want to draw big and fill our whole page. We're going to start here at the top and we're going to draw a long, large, curved line that looks a lot like the letter C. Just like a large letter C. This is a nice curved line. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do that same thing on the other side of our paper. We're trying to match this line on this side. And to do that is very simple. We're going to go here where we ended our curved line and we're going to draw another curved line going in the opposite direction all the way around our paper and end it here in the middle. I'm going to now connect my curved lines. So what we're looking for is something that's in the shape of a pumpkin. The next thing we're going to do is draw another pair or set. There's two here, one on this side, one on this side. That means it's a pair. So we're going to draw another pair or set of curved lines. And I just start at the top, I go all the way around to the same place I ended the last time. And I'm going to do that on the other side. I'm going to draw another nice, long, round, curved line again here. So again, I have two curved lines. And they're not perfect. They don't have to be perfect. We're not looking for something that's perfect. In fact, I made a mistake here and I'm going to fix it. I'm show you how I fix it. I'm gonna just go over here and draw 
my curve line, and then I'm going to use my handy dandy magic pink eraser. Uh oh, my dirty pink eraser. <laughs> and I'm going to erase that line. Maybe I have a better eraser. I'm sure I do. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I bet you this eraser is going to be much nicer. Okay, so we have our set of curved lines, and I'm not going to worry about this messiness right here because I know when we start adding our color, I'm gonna cover that up. So if you have something like that on your page too, don't even worry about it. That's gonna get covered with color. Let's just continue with our drawing our curved lines. We need another one here. And then again, we're gonna draw another one on this side, all the way down. Are we starting to look like a pumpkin yet? Maybe a little bit. Let's. Let's continue. Let's draw a couple more curved lines right here in the center. Now notice these curved lines are not as round as these curved lines. These ones are a little bit more straight, maybe just a little bend in them. Okay, so the last thing we need to do, because this is gonna be a pumpkin, or at least we hope it's gonna look like a pumpkin when we're all finished. So the next thing we need to do is we need to give our pumpkin a stem. So what we're going to do is draw a sideways oval, which I know you all can do because we've been practicing that in class. A nice long oval. Isn't that cute? We're gonna connect it to our pumpkin by going to the top side and drawing a curved line down and through to the center. And then we're gonna go on the other side here and we're going to do the same thing we're just going to draw a nice curved line down into the center and now we have our nice pumpkin and that's just the beginning of our project next we're going to take whatever colors we have if you have colored pencils uh, you can use colored pencils for this if you have markers you can use markers if you have crayons at home you can use those too whatever you have to make color is fine for this project. I'm going to use uh, colored pencils because I have um, a lot of colored pencils. So I'm gonna choose the color orange, but uh, feel free to use whatever color you want. You might like pink or orange or blue or I don't know, green or yellow, whatever color you like. I'm just playing it safe today with orange. But you know, as we go along, this might change. <laughs> so I'm gonna start. Uh, making circles because remember we're, we're learning about Yayoi Kusuma who was a Japanese artist and she was obsessed with circles and spots and so in honor of her today we are going to create something similar to a piece of work that she's most famous for. So I'm going to start just drawing some circles but notice my circles are going from small to large because I'm trying to keep them close to each one of these lines on either side of the circle. So I'm just going to continue this pattern of circles all the way down my pumpkin. And you notice that they are changing in size. Some might be smaller and larger and then again, larger to smaller. And so that is what we are going to do in each one of these sections of curved lines that we have created to make our pumpkin. So we're going to do the same thing starting in the next section. And we're going to continue to work this pattern all the way across our pumpkin. we're going to start coloring in the rest of our pumpkins. So I'm coloring in everything but the spots. I'm being careful to go around my spots. I'm going to color in all around my pumpkin, but I'm not going to color in those spots. While we're coloring in our pumpkins, I thought I'd talk to you a little more about Yayoi Kusuma. Ever since she was a little girl, she suffered from hallucinations. During these episodes, she would see spots and pumpkins would even talk to her. 
It wasn't until 1957 that she moved to the United States and she began to paint every day using organic shapes and bright colors. Even when she was a little girl, she knew she wanted to be an artist. Pumpkins have always been an inspiration to Yayoi. She sees them as pure energy. I'm gonna choose the color black because black is darker than brown. I'm gonna choose the color black now and I'm going to just trace over my pencil marks with my black colored pencil. If you're using a crayon, that'll work. If you're using markers, man, you're probably loving this. Now all that's left of for our pumpkin here is coloring in our spots. And I think I'm going to choose black to color in my spot. But for me today, I'm just going to keep it simple. And then as you see, I'm just using my colored pencil and I'm just coloring in my spots, just like Yayoi Kusuma. Remember that is who we are making art about today just like that until we have the whole thing completely colored in that is what we're trying to do I'm trying to do the whole pumpkin color in our whole page because we always draw big and fill the whole page Okay, so here we should have our pumpkin almost colored in. Just finishing up our last spots here. I don't know about you, but I'm almost finished. If you're still working, that's okay. You can keep going. In fact, I want you to keep going. I want you to finish your pumpkin that represents energy to Yayoi Kusuma, who continues to work to this day. She lives right across the street where she works. She lives in a special hospital for people with mental disorders, but she is allowed out every day and she walks across the street to her studio, to her special place where she gets to make art. And she takes time every day to go there and make, continue to make beautiful art full of organic shapes and bright colors. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today and I hope that you enjoyed creating these Yayoi Kusuma inspired pumpkins with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I hope you have a blessed day and see you soon. Bye!